Hello my beautiful friends. Welcome back to Yacht Shop Creations. Today we're going to go over hydraulic rams. I know you come here for carpentry, but I got to mix it up on you. So what I've done is I've welded two pieces of angle iron onto this bushing with a little bar. Set it up in the bench over here with a little shaft in there to support that end and on a jack stand on this side. So let's see if it breaks free. It's all f***ed up everywhere so this welding isn't going to hurt anything. So leave it to a carpenter to figure out how to get the shaft apart. Pretty simple actually. Replace a couple bushings. We just saved seventy-five hundred dollar ram. Alright, so you got to see that whole debacle of a mess and I'll briefly explain what had happened is the frontal shaft on the unit was actually frozen into the face of the ram. Now kind of what I wanted to show you is how simple a hydraulic ram is. If you have not seen one before, let's get into this one. Also, this shaft got damaged, so I had my friend Zach at Tropic Machine make me a new one, which I have on the table right now. So as you all know, when you see a hydraulic ram, you have all the assembly, it looks like it's very complex, but it's really not. You have a shaft inside, you have a cap, and you have a pressure flange. So this is the pressure flange. Now in order to assemble it, now that it's all painted up and this is cleaned up, what I wanna do is put some hydraulic, I'm just gonna use hydraulic jack oil, and I'm gonna coat all my rubber mating sections, spaces. I'm gonna coat all my O-rings, and a little on the threads make sure everything goes together really well and i'm going to put some on the shaft if you'll notice that's already set up so now the first piece that has to go on the shaft would be your cap it's got to be assembled in reverse of the way it actually works so we're going to put the cap in work that in real gentle because the you don't want to cut the bushing because that's where it'll leak from usually this the seals that are inside here is what actually causes the leak. So this goes in accordingly. Now we're gonna lubricate this up. The important part with this is make sure that the pressure cup is towards the bolt. So this is all new seals on it. We'll put it in, it goes in like that. It fits real nice. See, there's another rubber seal in there as well, which sits against this. So it's an additional, all your hydraulic fluid stays basically on, for the most part, on this side of it. Keep all the fluid out. So then we simply put the nut on, all right, now just to tighten that big nut up. All right, now that that's tightened down, when we've torque set it, we're gonna slide this in accordingly. So now this is your whole assembly here. You have your cap, pressure plate, your hydraulic hoses go in here. So I'm just gonna coat the inside of this a little bit. And then I'm very carefully gonna slide our ram in. These are tight tolerances, so we need to work it down in. 